Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is General Dreams. So we're here in the shop again. And I went to edit the video this morning and the intro where I show you what we're going to be doing today, which is installing windows for the upper section of the door. Kind of like that. When I went to download it, I uh, pushed the button. I said, oh, this looks weird. And then it said deleted. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. I pushed delete instead of push download. So I lost the intro. So anyway, it started out and I was telling you what we were gonna do. I was gonna show you what they look like without it and the parts that I had. And actually what I had done is I had put the passenger side on so that I had a little practice. And then I had all of the material, or, yeah, I guess it's concerned material, had all that laid out on the table to show you that. So I still have some of that part of the video, and I have the ending of the video, I have all that. It's just the very first part I lost. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so we will go ahead and uh, continue in the video. This next section just kind of starts a little weird because it's missing the part before it. But anyway, this will explain how the spike windows go on and, uh, and gives you a couple of tips along the way that I learned. So I hope it's helpful. Enjoy the video. Here we go. All right. So the lower door panel here is held on by one of the lock screws, which is also what holds on the door bag. These, oops, knock the bucket over. These right here are the holes that we are trying to access. You could, if you really wanted to, you could put the nut on there. But trying to get a wrench on there would just be a nightmare. It's not that hard to take this stuff off. So just make it easier on yourself and just undo it. I got a screw here and here and the lower section will be off. And then the screws, there's one under here, one under here one under here and there's one right here and then the upper sections off so let's see here what what wrenches are we using okay here is all the tools I used half inch um, I've got an eight millimeter nut driver for running the uh, hose clamps I have a 10 millimeter I have a 5 30 seconds Allen. I have a 40, a 30, a 25 Torx. I've got two different ratchets. I have a 7 16 to pull off the lower panel. I got a wrench that I used for this upper plate as I tightened those I snugged them a little bit and then I put the wrench on like that and put a little pressure because I want that thing back that way as much as I can and then I have the hammer just to tap the uh, hinge was it the hinge no it was this when I get all these loose and I'm adjusting it I just gave it a little tap and I drove that up See that clamps on there I slid this up and then I wanted this up on that as much as I could to get the door up to seal up here better and to clear this area so these are the tools that you need for the job and then like I say I just tightened that up this looks weird when I first got it I'm like that is really strange but the idea is this is the top side. Any rain that hits this, the door seals in here. Because at first I was thinking, oh, this fits the contour of the roll cage. No, it don't. This goes against the roll cage. This is for the door weather stripping to go against. And you can maybe see on this one, yeah. See the top, it's got a smooth panel on there now. And then that 
curve shape is in here for this weather stripping right here to close on. And there is also, right up here, there's a snap that holds the top of that material tight, which is this snap right here. So you take these, you open them up, you slide them through these holes here, and then you go up there and you clamp it on, make sure it's all the way back, and then in. It's got a little notch to go around this part of the roll cage, and uh, it'll fit right in there nice and tight. And you can go ahead and uh, snug that up right when you put it in. So that's what I'm going to do next. Here I go. All right, well, that's about as far as I can go tonight. But uh, I thought I'd show you. You got that little hinge thing set up right there. Just got a little pin through there. Hold this up there and you put that pin in. Then you can put one of these bolts right here in. And then you you put all those in there. You got nuts on the back. And then they suggest that you open the open the window up and then allow a little bit more movement to move the whole thing around. Then you can loosen up these hinges and start playing with adjusting. Like, I haven't even tried it to see. It's just on there loosely if it'll close. Yeah, it still closes. But, you see I got the big gap in there right now. Let's see if I put a light behind it. Yeah, see there's a gap in there. So... Uh, start playing with it, pulling the tension on everywhere, get that snap on the top, get this up and as forward as I can by adjusting all this stuff. Be a combination. I'll leave these loose enough that I can slide it and I'll loosen this and I'll loosen these two. And I'll probably, well, I'll try it like that first and see how well I can get it to fit. And if I need more, I'll loosen this, raise it up and forward like I did on the other side. And you just keep playing with it till you find the, the best fit for the situation. But that's as far as I can go tonight. I got to go somewhere early tomorrow, so I got to head in. So we'll get back to this on another night. All right. All right, here I'll show you what I got going. You got these hinge bolts all loose. These are loose. And you see if I move this around, see how everything moves? So then I also loosen this and I raised it up and forward as much as possible. So now if I take this door Get the camera pointed the right way. If I take this door and I latch it on there, well, that's as far forward as it can go. And then I'll raise that up so that it's as close to the top of the catch as it can go. And then I'll reach back here and I'll snug up the hinge bolts. And then I'll go inside and I'll snug up those four bolts that are holding the window to the door frame. And after I snug all that, then I can open that up and try it out and see how well that works. Okay, so I've got those all snugged up. It was in the latch. I snug these up, snug those up. I'm going to bring the door over here. You see, it'll, it'll kind of just bounce here like this. But if you actually go for it, it closes. Seal goes in there. Right here is out a little bit more than on the other side. But it is touching. So the part of the rubber right here 
is touching. The only spot that's not is where it goes over this clamp, and there's not much you can do about that. It actually fits up here pretty easy. So that would be what I'd learned doing the other side because I screwed around and screwed around a lot on that passenger side trying to get it lined up right and the work and everything and these are the little tricks that I learned that now I'm passing on to you guys if you ever have to do this so that was like that this side is just super easy so far and then to hook this snap up on top there's a zipper in here that goes all the way around and all the way down into here you can unzip this and then you can slip this fabric off of the bar to give yourself some more play to be able to snap this snap up there on top because it's kind of hard getting it up over there you want to get that snapped in nice and tight and then once i put the outside plastics back on here i've got this little plastic clip on here that comes around the outside i can show you on this other side here That's what this is right here, if you can make it out. And it's still kind of hard to tell, but that's a plastic clip hooked on there, and that's what's what's keeping this door right here so tight. Works good. So that's what I'll do now. I'll make sure those are all snug. There is another bolt here that's just out because it's what holds the lower section of the door. But the next thing I'll do is I'll unzip this section right around here pull some slack hook that snap up on the top put this stuff all back on put the lower pla or put the plastics on put the lower section back on close the door and then i climb inside and i tighten up all these velcro pieces so you got these velcro pieces that go around the back of the roll cage and that's what I did on the other side. I got it all in, and then I climbed inside and got those as tight as you can. The window is out right now because I was leaving room to put the straps through. Once I have them on both sides, I push that window up and in, snug all these up. And that will be a full window enclosure. Yeah, it is. Full window enclosure. So that will cut down a large percentage of the rain and the wind and the cold that's getting in you know of course you're still gonna have stuff like that if if you want something like that sealed up then you need to get a ranger or a general or the new expedition because these are more like cars they have flat surfaces even the roll cage has flat surfaces for the windows and doors to all seal on they got weather stripping around here but for a sport machine that's pretty nice that's going to make a huge difference and then if he adds a heater which he probably will be putting a uh, heater in here he'll definitely be he'll be nice and warm and then when it's real cold out i mean when it's real hot out you open these vents up roll these windows down and hit the road so the nice thing about on the general is these doors come out like right now there's no doors there's these holes it drops into uh, and there's a video way back when i put these on you just lift the whole frame out on this so i can go with no doors at all no frame nothing his you have to take everything apart to take off so you're not going to do that um all you're going to do is you're just going to roll down your window and call it good because there's a lot involved in taking this off if you're just going out for a weekend trip in a place that's warm now if you're going to go somewhere and you're going to be somewhere for a couple of months in the warm weather and you want these off well then it would make sense to go ahead and unscrew it and take it all off but um, that's a lot of work if you don't have to do it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, 
that's the gist of that so I will go ahead and uh, put that all back together and then it'll look just like this side does over here pretty clean he's got the metal bottoms and the metal piece back here and uh, you just unzip that reach in here pop it open got the door bags on there I got the little knee pad pretty clean and then to close it from the inside since I didn't put the straps on you just put your hand right here and close it and I think I might have said that earlier in the video depending on which footage I use so there we go all right I hope this was helpful uh, please like subscribe and share it'll really help the channel out and I think the next project on this machine will be a back bumper. It's going to get a back bumper on it with a hitch. And you actually are supposed to take the suspension apart because you have to take these off of there because that's where the bumper and the hitch bolt up. It'll be a similar design to this front one. It's another product from Super ATV going on the back. So it'll... It'll match that. That'll be in a future video. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for someone out there. Thanks again. We'll catch you on the next one.